What is up my veggies? My name is Veggie Tales right now. Welcome back to another movie review. Today we're going to be reviewing Death Note, the Netflix original movie. Now, before we actually get into the actual movie itself, I want to talk about some stuff before the movie actually came out. So when I first got into Death Note, which was by my friend who told me, hey, you gotta watch this anime. He's a huge fan of anime. He's like, I don't like anime that much and blah, 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 blah. But then I watched Death Note because... I figured, hey, I'll watch it, and I actually really enjoyed Death Note. And actually, when I found out about when I first started watching Death Note, I found out about the uh, Netflix movie that was coming out, and that interests me. I'm pretty sure I did a trailer chats on on, on this movie as well. Um, but going into this movie, I was excited. When I first found out about the movie, I was super excited. Um, because starting Monday, I was like so excited, like, oh yeah, this comes out Friday, I'm so excited, and when it finally came out, I waited all day because my dad and my nephew wanted to watch it with uh, with me, so we were all going to sit down and watch it, well, that's what we did last night, we all sat down and watched it, and keep in mind, they didn't watch the anime, I did, so they would see the whole movie from a whole different perspective that I saw it from. So, but my, the, the trailer was a little skeptical, I was a little skeptical about the trailer, but I was willing to give it a shot, so, because you guys know, normally I don't, I don't hate movies, normally, with a few exceptions, um, but this movie, I, I really have to, I really have to review this, so first thing, and by the way, before I actually get into the actual review, spoiler alert, so the mo so let's get into the movie now. So the movie, oh goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and say my thoughts on it before I go into a whole summary of the movie and everything. If you are expecting to get a movie that is just like the anime, this is not the movie for you. You'd probably have a better shot at watching the uh Watching, just re-watching the anime, if you want to, um, get a full shot of the, of, just re-watch the anime. If you just, if you want to see the whole, uh, if you're expecting what, this to be like the anime, like 100% like the anime, you'd be better off just re-watching the anime. Which I actually do intend on doing that in the future. <laughs> so, this movie, this, not, yeah, this movie, um, so... It's not like the anime, really. A lot of the anime elements are taken out, and one thing, one thing that's very different. This is not take place in Japan. This is an American adaptation where it is in America, and it's very, very different. Which that didn't bother me so much because it just really didn't. Uh, one thing that made me mad though was Light's name. His name was still Light, but his last name was Turner. His, in the anime, his name is Light Yagami, and then I thought, oh, uh, yeah, it, it, it makes a little, little sense that they changed it, and, um, the character Light was a little different than he was in the anime, like, at the beginning of the movie, he is doing homework for people and getting paid for it. I don't, that, that doesn't seem like something Light would do. That made me angry. As soon as the, it was like only like, what, two minutes into the movie and we see that? And, and, and he got the death note really early in the movie. I, I, he got it much earlier than I thought he would. So, I, it starts to rain and then the death note falls in the sky. Kind of like how it did in the actual anime. I'm glad I got that right. And the way the death note looks, looks a little diff. It looks very different, actually. But it doesn't bother me how it looked different. That was okay. I kind of like the design of the death note here. The na the writing on it was the same. The pages actually made a lot, like it made a lot more sense than it did in the anime. Because, like, it just like in, the, in the anime, it's like a basic notebook, but I kind of liked how in the, in, the, in the series, the pages were all, like, old brown, like, ancient looking paper. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that. And in this series, Light actually went through the more, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, but he finds the Death Note, he reads the main thing of the Death Note, and he, like, goes to help somebody that's getting picked on or 
messed with or something like that. And he gets knocked out. He gets sent to detention because I found the uh, the homework he was doing for people. And he's in detention. And this is when he meets Ryuk. So when he meets Ryuk, it, it's, he acts like a coward. Which, when Light first met Ryuk in the anime, he did not act that way. He didn't. So that part was a little weird to me. But he warmed up to Ryuk really quick. But, the, um, so that's when Ryuk is telling him, hey, you can use, why don't you use this death note to save that girl out there getting, so he writes down the, write, write, writes down the guy's name, and, you know, that was not a reason, is decapitation, which I think, man, was, I guess an okay first time to use the death note, I don't remember when, the first time he used the death note in the, uh, Anime was very fairly different than he did in this cause 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 I don't know it's just really different and I don't think and don't this is not supposed to be a thing that mimics the uh anime this is pretty much a new look on Death Note so that's the main reason why I'm not being as harsh on this movie because it's supposed to be a new look at Death Note it's not supposed to be the anime it's supposed to be a new look. So that's the reason why I'm not being so hard on this movie. Even though it did make me mad that it wasn't so much on the anime. But let's keep talking. So, one thing I like, I did like Ryuk. He was pretty accurate to how he was in the anime. His look was pretty cool. Um, he, was, his, he looked pretty cool. I liked the way he looked. and We didn't get to see him... In any light, really, we barely we didn't get to see him in light that much. A lot of the scenes with him in, he's in the dark, and um, yeah, but we go from that, and the guy's name that he wrote was Kenny, and he died from decapitation. Uh, he goes home and like something like, and yeah, Ryu collects apples. We got that understood. But one thing that I didn't like about the whole apple thing. So he didn't say that line that I really liked that he said in the anime. Apples are like, well, apples are to Shinigami is what cigarettes and alcohol are to humans. I like that line. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. And there wasn't a lot of Ryuk in this movie, actually. I was expecting for more of Ryuk. But the way he looked was pretty cool. And I, what what he was in the movie, how, when he was in the movie, was pretty decent. Now... He went home, and then I think he tried to kill. I think he tried to kill somebody else, um, upon the news. And no way, no, he does that later. Never mind. Okay, and I think that I'm trying to remember what happens. And then he goes to the back of school. He's reading the death note, like the rules of the death note. And um, he's reading the death note, and um. Crap. He's reading the death note. My mind's getting blank. He's reading the death note. And this girl comes along. Who I guess is supposed to be this movie is Misa. But her name is Ma Maya. Or something like that. I'm guessing she's supposed to be the replacement for Misa. So. I don't, didn't know how I felt about that. The character was not. I didn't really like the character that much either. Um, she, she, he shows her about the death note. And this is what confused me. So he handed her the death note, trying to say, like, look behind you, there's a giant demon thing over there. And she still can't see Ryuk. In the anime, whoever touched... <coughs> Sorry about that. Whoever touched the death note could see the Shinigami. And when he touched it, when he touched it, when she touched it, she still couldn't see, uh, see it. Only... The owner of the Death Note, only the owner of the Death Note can see the Shinigami. So, yeah, so then they start going, there's a whole, they start falling in love, there's a whole montage of him, of, this is when, this is when, and this is when he comes up with the name Kira, which I can't say it like that, I gotta say Kira. I can't say Kira, that sounds weird to me, I gotta say Kira. So, so, uh, he starts with the name Kira, and he starts, 
killing criminals and everything like that. And then there's a scene in the movie where um, his dad comes forward. Oh, okay, wait, wait, I'm skipping. I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. Okay, then we get. Uh, was, I'm trying to remember all this in order. I probably should have rewatched it again before I did this review. Um, I will. Um, never mind. Um, but we get we get introduced to L, which that's one thing that I think made a lot of people mad. The way L was, um, because he didn't act the way like L did. But like I said, this isn't supposed to be a recreation. I don't think it's supposed to be a, a frame by frame or whatever recreation of Death Note. I think this is supposed to be its own thing. So, and in this, L was a little more emotional than he was in the anime. Because in the end, he actually goes out of his way to try to kill, kill Kira or kill Light. Which surprised me. Um, like, the whole time, like, instead of, the, there's not the whole thing of them trying to work together while, uh, while El is suspecting Light being Kira, and the scene between them sitting there talking was actually a good, interesting scene. I actually liked that. And then there's a scene where, um, Light's father, which Light's father acted really different, and his mother and do mother and sister are not in this movie, because, like, apparently his mother died, and I'm guessing he never had a sister, so, like I said, this is not supposed to be a recreation of Death Note, it's supposed to be a completely different look on it, so that's the reason why I'm not giving this movie such a bad time, so, with that all aside, things start to get crazy, I I'm trying to, like, get to the main plot points, things start to get a little crazy, I have to go to the. Di um, he he has this girl, this this guy. That, he writes down in the death note. This guy that's gonna uh, help um, get um, White's name, not White's name, get um, L's real name. And he writes down if you just burn the page, you can only do this once. By the way, if you burn the page, that whatever you wrote down, they won't die. So, but. His girlfriend, Maya, tore the page out for some reason because she wants the death note. So he does not get, not get L's real name, and she doesn't, and he doesn't, um, and she does and we don't, um, we don't get L's real name, and she wants the death note. And then we find out she wrote his name in the death note. Which was crazy and after that there's this whole chase scene and everything like that where L's chasing after light and then they eventually get to the uh, ferris wheel where they're confessing their love to each other and all that when there's police at the and then Ryuk shows up and Tears down the um, uh, Ferris wheel, but little did the, little did we, audience know and M M Maya knew that was Light's plan. The um, Ferris wheel was supposed to fall. It was gonna kill Maya, which it did. Light was gonna survive, and he did survive, and. He eventually, had, he had a whole plan set up. I'm not going through all the details of his plan. He had a whole plan set up to where he would go to the hospital and he would get the death note back and other criminals would die in the process. Or someone else would have the death note and write his name in it. He wrote down a whole bunch of, a whole big plan. And a Ryuk, so apparent, and in the end, he tells his dad, I'm Kira. He pretty much tells him he's Kira. And that surprised me. I mean, his dad takes it relatively well. Which surprised me. And so, and then he had the death note now. And Ryuk looks over at him and is like, you're making this very interesting or something like that. And there's also L goes to, was about to leave and give up the investigation, it seems like. But then he goes to um, L's house. And goes back to, go back to Light's house and finds a page of the Death Note, which I'm pretty sure he was about to write his name in that page of the Death Note, but he didn't. 
Because he grabbed a pen and he's looking at a picture of light over on a uh, table and he's like about to write his name, but he can't pull himself to do it. See, that's that's why I'm glad it stopped there because most of the changes, a lot of the changes I didn't like, but I could accept it in some, some way or form. But if like they would have had him write down his name, that wouldn't have been right. That's not something L would have do. L, I don't think L, L would not use the Death Note. And so pretty much the the movie ends around that part. And so like it doesn't end with uh, Light dying like he's supposed to. L doesn't die like he's supposed to. His father doesn't die like he's supposed to. Misa doesn't show up. Ram doesn't show up. Matsuda is not in this or anything like that. Or, or a character that represents him. Um, but still, it, can, it very much confused me in this movie. And it ends there. So the thing is, I get, I, it seems like they're planning a sequel for this movie. Maybe sequels. So so I am looking forward to I I I, I did... The, ooh. After this movie ended, um, after this movie ended, I was walking around the living room complaining, saying this isn't supposed to happen, that's supposed to happen, it made me angry. But then... I've been thinking about it recently, ever since uh, ever since I woke up this morning, I've been thinking about it before I began to do this review, I was thinking, I was all like, oh, this, actually, this is, the movie's not bad, in my opinion. Now, if you're, if you're looking for the movie that uh, represents all, everything the anime is, this movie is not the movie for you. Then it would be a bad movie. And that's what I was looking for at first. But then I think about it and like, uh, think of it as a standalone movie. It's a good movie. And I remember checking on Rotten Tomatoes last night. The audience rating was lower than the Rotten Tomatoes rating, which which was which I didn't. That was odd. Well, not odd, but it was understandable. So that really was that was really confusing to me. Not confusing, uh, but the ending. Was like it just came out of nowhere, really. The way it just ended, it just ended with whoop, movie's over. And you do get to see a little bit of blooper and kind of how uh, Ryuk is done. That was a little cool. You can see a little peek of that, how Ryuk was done, which is really cool. I liked the way he was, how it was done. And the acting in this movie was really good. They chose some good actors. The actor that chose to play L was. Was good. I, he kind he, he kind of represented L how he should be, but he also didn't. Main, main my main concern was Light. He wasn't like he Light wasn't how he should have been. He still went for the whole thing while trying to be the new god of the new world. He still went with that the whole thing, but then he started to like say we're going too far or something like that. But I don't think he meant that because he still wanted the Death Note, and I'm pretty sure. In, if they do plan on doing a sequel to this movie, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a sequel, a sequel to this movie, they're gonna he's gonna be all uh, he's gonna that's gonna be when the, it it takes the route the anime took where he goes in where he goes into trying to be the god of the, of the new world, but I want to know what else plans are for the future. So I like that. I guess maybe the maybe they were thinking, oh, everybody already knows the anime is like, well, let's try to change it up. So you can give them something, they'll still be hooked. So the movie does hook you, surprisingly. It's not a horrible film. It's not. It's not even bad, in my opinion. Now, if, if you're going for the looking for the uh, and a, a very like a, just a complete copy of the uh, of the anime in just live action form, this is not what you're looking for. So. But at first, I was going to crap all over this movie, say it was horrible. Because at first, that's what, how I thought. But then I thought about it and thought about, hey, this actually was works. And so, I see, I think of, the de as de of Death Note, the Netflix movie, Netflix original. I think that, I think of this movie as its own standalone thing. I don't try to connect it to the, I do, I do connect it a little bit. But I do understand where they were going with this, so I, I kind of do. Did, I did like this movie. It wasn't amazing. I'm still a little disappointed that it wasn't more an based off of the anime. But without hey, without the anime or the manga, this would not exist. So, 
So just think about that. Hey guys, Future VeggieTales right in here. I forgot to throw in my rating for this movie. I've been forgetting a lot of a lot lately. <laughs> I've forgotten a few times, but let me go ahead and get my rating for the Death Note movie. I give it a three and a half out of five Shinigamis. So, yeah, that's my rating, and jump back to Veggie Shells right after the outro. So, guys, I think that's all I gotta say about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please tap like button down below, subscribe, leave me a comment, and link to my Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Dailymotion will all be linked down in the description below. Just like always, and do not forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!